A growing number of women and men of reproductive age wish to regulate their fertility and have fewer children. Between the ages of 20 and 44, a fertile, sexually active woman is potentially capable of giving birth about 12 times, even if she breastfeeds each baby for one year. To avoid the need of an unwanted pregnancy, she has to successfully practice birth control for 16 to 20 times of her roughly 25 childbearing years, hence the use of contraceptives. Family planning is a method, is a contraceptive method that is used by people to either avoid getting pregnant or to space their between pregnancies. So they can choose to, to either discontinue the family planning and get pregnant or continue with them and avoid pregnancy at all. Contraception is the intentional prevention of conception through the use of various devices, sexual practices, chemicals, drugs or surgical procedures. Dr. Abdi Hakim Assad gives us insight into the world of contraceptives. When someone comes to ask for family planning services, there's a lot of things they consider. Uh, if they want uh, to get a baby soonest, or maybe after months or even after some few years, if they don't want to get a baby at all, or if they want to get a child uh, in the next maybe five or ten years. So we don't only look at the safety uh, protocol as I say, we look at what this person needs. There are some people who need family planning but they don't want the partner to see it. So there are family planning methods that are hideable and some family planning methods that are not hideable, that's one criteria. There are, the, there, there are some family planning methods that are not safe for a person to use, especially in pregnant and breastfeeding women. We don't give them con oral contraceptive pills, we give them uh, coils and uh, etc. So when you are trying to use the family planning methods, we don't only look at the safety profile, of course it's there, but we have different uh, profiles that we look for, for the, past, for the person to choose the best uh, family planning method. An effective contraception allows a physical relationship without fear of an unwanted pregnancy and ensures freedom to have children when desired. Family planning uh, has two major uh, classifications. It can be either a long term or a short term. For the long term, we also call them permanent uh, family planning methods. For the long term, there are also surgical uh, methods. In men, uh, vasectomy, which is cutting of the tubes that usually transport sperms from the testis to the penis or to the urethra. So the connection between the testis and the urethra is cut. And that is a permanent solution. And uh, th that is a permanent form of contraceptive in men. In females, the type of permanent contraceptive method we have is a cutting of the fallopian tubes or blocking them. Uh, the fallopian tubes is the passageway of the egg that is coming from the ovary to the uterus. So if you also cut the passageway, the, the, the sperms that are coming into this female will not get access to the eggs because they have to pass through the fallopian tube. And in this instance, we have cut the fallopian tube. So there is no way for the sperm to reach the ovum. So that's another permanent method of uh, contraception. For the temporary ones, we also combine them into hormonal and non-hormonal methods. So for the hormonal methods, they contain hormones, as per the name says. The type of hormone they contain can either be estrogen or it can be estrogen and progesterone combined. Uh, they're also classified into long-term and short-term. So, for example, you've all heard of the pills, the family planning, the ones that usually are taken every day. Those ones are either progesterone-only pills and also known as POPs or combined oral contraceptives, which have both estrogen and progesterone, hence the name combined. So for them, they are temporary methods, and as long as you're taking the pills every day, you, you have a form of contraception. But once you discontinue taking the pills, your fertility returns. So that is the shortest uh, uh, ones that, as per duration concerns. Then the, th the second uh, uh, 
temporary contraceptive method is uh, called depo amyle, the injection that the females usually get after every three months. So the depo contains progesterone only. It doesn't have both estrogen and progesterone. Then uh, if you go higher in the timing ladder, we have a uh, implant or we call it implanon or jadel, which gives you a contraceptive period of about five years. If you go higher in the planning, in the family planning ladder in terms of timing, you also have the coils, IUCDs. For the coils, you have two types. You can either have a hormonal type, which has a hormone, or you have a non-hormonal type, it just has a copper coil. So those ones are inserted in, through the cervix into the uterus, and they can give a hormonal contraceptive period of up to 10 years. So as I was saying earlier, the type of contraceptive that you are using will depend on how long you want the contraceptive. The aim is to achieve contraception in maximum comfort and privacy with minimum cost and side effects. The safety of family planning is well documented. Uh, it, it has complications, but the complications that you get from family planning are not major complications. For example, they include uh, things such as uh, excessive bleeding or having excessive menses. They can also include things as uh, uh, gaining weight. They include things as uh, uh, thromboembo we call them thromboembolic events, but what they mean is clotting in different types, in different parts of the body. For example, if, you, if someone has a clot in, uh, in the brain, that manifests as stroke. If someone has a clot in the heart, it manifests as uh, MI or heart attack. If someone has a clot in the kidney, it leads to kidney failure. And if someone has a clot in the feet, it causes uh, painful and swollen feet, which we call as DVT. But the safety is dependent on the type that you're using. For example, for the oral contraceptive pills, they give people those thromboembolic events, those thrombosis in different parts of the body. But uh, things like uh, progesterone-only pills, which are called POPs, they don't have those type of side effects. So I guess the type of uh, side effects or complications or its safety, as per se, depends on the type of contraceptive or family plan that the person is using. The ABC approach employs population-specific interventions that emphasize abstinence for youth and other unmarried persons, including delay of sexual debut, mutual faithfulness, and partner reduction for sexually active adults, and correct and consistent use of condoms by those whose behavior places them at risk for transmitting or becoming infected with HIV. It depends. Are they sexually active or not? If they are sexually active and uh, they are trying to avoid pregnancy, it is advisable. We have the, we usually had the the acronym A, B, C. A abstain. B be faithful. C condoms. And then now, if that fails, you go for the contraception. So I'd advise youth, youths to either uh, abstain, be faithful, or use condoms. If all that is not uh, in line with, with them, they can go for the contraceptive methods. So for the contraceptive methods, I'd still advise them not to go for the permanent ones because those ones are non-reversible and you cannot just go back uh, to your full fertility functioning. So if they are to choose the family planning methods, they should choose the temporary ones. And finally, here, the doctor's panting short. For oral contraceptive pills, they have been found to reduce the risk of ovarian and uh, uterine or endometrial cancers. So that is one of the non... When we are looking at family planning methods, they are usually contraceptive benefits or non-contraceptive benefits. These family planning methods are used to treat cases of abnormal uterine bleeding. If you must, use barrier methods, use condoms. If uh, that do doesn't work for you, uh, you should uh, try and consider the family planning methods so that to avoid unwanted pregnancies because pregnancies come with a lot of responsibilities.